Japan. So this okay. is a completely different market from the US. Right. But still the principle, it's basically it's basically the same. So well, I wanted just to offer the guys the opportunity to, to, to meet you for you have a, just a quick words to them, the best recommendation. And well, they basically all ears from you, all right? Okay. Go ahead, Professor, they're all yours. Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm happy to uh, be able to say hi to you and I'm glad to be able to to speak to you. I my best advice to you for uh, learning. Well, are you doing the hybrid and electric, or uh, uh, well, you're doing all, you're doing everything down there, aren't you? Well, not just hybrid and electric. Well, it is. Well, basically, just a moment. Let me get. I don't know if you see me. This is a course. This is a course of hybrid electric vehicle. So we basically oh, okay. focus on hybrid and electric. Okay. All right. So all right. they're they're all yours, Professor. Okay. Very good. Well, that the first thing I would uh, suggest is that you you learn how to safely work on these vehicles. Learn the. Learn how to use the the proper tools safely. You how to use the personal protective equipment, the gloves, safety glasses, uh, insulated tools as necessary, uh, and follow the 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 service information, the the instructions in the service manual. Uh, we we get a lot of technicians up here that don't think they need to read the instructions, and then it always not always, but usually will uh, end up being a bad thing for them. And so I, I always recommend to my students that they spend some time uh, reading how the system works, getting familiar with how it works, uh, and then uh, proceeding with the diagnostics, following step-by-step -step procedures in the, in the manual. Uh, most of these vehicles are are very safe. Uh, even if you're, uh, even if you were to accidentally touch uh, some of the pieces that you shouldn't touch, uh, unless you're touching two exactly wrong pieces at the same time, it, it's really hard for you to get hurt uh, electrically. You're, you're not going to get shocked just touching one piece with one finger, but if you're touching two pieces, uh, then then it's certainly possible to get uh, to get injured. But as long as you're following the proper service procedures, uh, you should be okay. Um, the the problems that we see up here with the uh, Toyotas specifically. Um, and and the Nissans, you guys probably have Nissan Leafs down there. Um, is that the, over time the batteries start to degrade and and go bad, and so some places will try to go inside the battery and try to diagnose which battery modules or cells are bad, and then to replace some of those rather than replace the entire battery. Uh, and some places have some pretty good luck doing that or others do not but you got to keep in mind that when you go inside of a battery uh, then you're dealing with some live exposed uh, possibly high voltages and that's more dangerous inside the battery than it is outside the battery and so to be sure to follow uh, the instructions there and if you can't find instructions then be sure to wear your your gloves to, to keep yourself safe uh, as you're working on those. Um, a, some people uh, don't spend a lot of time doing the basic maintenance on their vehicles. They just drive them until they quit driving and then uh, want you to fix them. And so sometimes uh, knowing what systems need to have some sort of a uh, maintenance procedure on them can be very helpful. The, the cooling system, uh, the the brake fluid, the, the well, the engine oil on a on a hybrid, 
uh, brake pads, uh, things that are uh, things that you don't think about being different on a hybrid or an electric vehicle. Uh, they still have service procedures or service intervals that uh, require those fluids to be changed at certain times. So I would recommend that you look at that for ways to make money working on these, these vehicles as a service technician. Um, the, uh, I have a question, if you don't mind, I'm interrupting for a moment. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, here in this uh, country, of course, most of the time, all hybrids come in, as, as, as I said, as I mentioned before, from, from Japan. But uh -huh. I would like to know your experience, uh, remember, remembering the, one of your videos about the P510 transaction, that's one of the, one of, one yes. of the videos you have. All right, so the, that's, that's the, that is the vehicle that we have here the most. We have like okay. tens of thousands of those vehicles. We're talking about the Toyota Accord, the Prius C. Yeah, the Prius C. Right. Yes. Everybody here has that vehicle. That vehicle is like something like amazing. Like everybody has it. I even have one myself. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so okay. we, 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 we kind of learned to deep dive, like really deep dive into that vehicle. Yeah. So, uh, according to your experience, uh, what can you tell us about that vehicle specifically um, in what you've been teaching thus far about this type of vehicle particularly? Well, the. It's a lower voltage hybrid compared to the other to uh, Toyotas that are out there. I think it's only a 144 volt battery. Yes, sir. That's it. 144 yeah. nominal voltage. Under the back seat. Correct. And uh, the P510 transaxle is just this little tiny thing, but it gets pretty hot. It doesn't have a lot of cooling passages in it. And so the, the transmission fluid can uh, start to get dark and 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 dark doesn't mean it's bad but it can get it can get pretty smelly uh, which can indicate that it's that it's starting to uh, go bad and the transmission fluid in that p510 uh, one of the jobs besides lubrication is to cool the uh, the, the stator windings for the mg1 and the mg2 rotors Uh, and as that fluid gets too hot uh, and and gets too old, then it uh, doesn't cool those stators as well as they should, and then they can eventually start to, to short out uh, from overheating. It melts the insulation off the stator windings. And so I don't know how it is down there, but here in the United States, Toyota plays this game of, Oh, you never need to change that fluid, but oh, big mistake! That is a big, big mistake. mistake. Yes. <laughs> so well, with, I could say that we have a lot of experience because remember, we are in the Caribbean, and here is extremely, extremely hot. Very so, hot. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely recommending all my customers to replace that oil every once a year. I like like thirty thousand kilometers. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Good. Basically, uh, do that. So, uh, well, uh, one more thing. I hope you don't mind. Just a moment. Okay. Well, uh, well just maybe just the guy who want to know you. Who is? I mean, you're very known by a lot of people already around around the world. But basically, what can you say about John Kelly in the automotive industry, and especially in the hybrid uh, world? Well, uh, I, you you may have noticed I'm in a wheelchair. Uh, I have muscular dystrophy, and so it, it slowly is uh, making my muscles get weaker and weaker. And so that kind of limits what I can do for a hobby. And so uh, right. one thing I really enjoy is coming to the shop and exploring these vehicles, exploring these technologies. And so I probably spend more time uh, messing around with these transmissions and hybrid vehicles than anybody else normally would yes. just because I'm bored and there's there's really nothing else to do uh, for me on the weekends or uh, on my days off and so I like to spend a lot of time and it really helps me to learn by taking everything apart clean it uh, I put labels on it so I can remember what they are and what they do 
And that has really helped me. And I've been doing this for going on 10 years now. Uh, it has really helped me to get a better understanding of, of what's going on. And then I, I make videos to show my students. I have online students and students here in class. And then I let the rest of the world see those too. And, and I really didn't think anybody else cared to see them, but a whole, a whole bunch of people apparently like to watch them also. So that was a surprise to me. Yeah, well, I, well, I know 200,000 people are following your channel. That's definitely not Yes, <laughs> that a, that's also a surprise. Yes, <laughs> a fat man in a wheelchair. <laughs> Uh, but, it, but it, is, it is an excellent job. I'm pretty sure most of these guys saw his channel before. I'm one of the, the biggest followers, of course, in the very beginning. I did the online course, of course, in the in, in the Weaver State. So I've been having a lot of experience for uh, for a few years. But yeah. these guys, but these guys, it's uh, it's amazing. Uh, they're seeing the hybrid course for the first time. So it's all the, all the classes have been very, very, very entertaining. Good. This new technology, it's it's really amazing. So the the last class, for example, we took apart a high voltage battery from a Hyundai Ionic. Oh yeah, good. All right. So I think it was it was not it was not it was not a class. It was a party of happiness. Actually, yeah. we we're enjoying pretty much doing that job. And it's then, fun yeah. to explore that. Yeah. Yes, 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 precisely. And and I don't know if you remember that I was asking you that if you had a video taking apart the the inverter with converter assembly of Toyota. Because I haven't seen that, but if you don't do it, I'm going to do it. Eh? So, no, I, I, <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah. not making competition. To you. I do for most of them. I think there's one that I've missed that I need to go back and do it. All, yeah. right. All right, Professor. Um, let All me right. just do, let me just see if you, any, any of you guys would like to ask anything to Professor John. Uh, so, because remember, his meeting with us is just going to be a few minutes. It won't be that long. Right? So, I'm pretty sure he will be. Uh, very busy. Any questions? Yeah, and um, Professor, by the way, the guys here, they are very shy. All right, so let me see if you want to then. All right, so uh, is your opportunity, guys, if you want to do any questions, all right? Anything? Yeah, not everybody together. Not everybody together. It's too much. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, well, by the way, uh, in the meantime, these guys um, think about if they're going to ask you uh, some questions or not. Um, I will, I'm really grateful for you to join us on this on this meeting. It's a real pleasure. It's a real honor. By the way, everybody here now is going to be more followers of you. So yeah. thus far, all right. Uh, I hope this is not the only meeting we do. All right. As I said, it won't take you more than 10, maybe 15 minutes. All right. So <laughs> yeah, no, no problem. It's nice to meet you guys, and I hope you have a good day. All right. All right. So so I think that that's pretty much professor uh i really appreciate you have a great time keep up the good work because your videos as far as i know they are the best hybrid vehicle hybrid vehicle videos in the internet there are many there are many, many vehicles but yours are definitely a next level and thank you purpose, very much and the purpose of what you do in those videos is amazing all right so professor thank i want you I won't take your time anymore. You have a great time yourself. Thank you so much. I hope to see you again soon enough. Right, so we'll, we will be in touch. Okay. Goodbye. All right, Professor. Take care. All right. That should be it, guys.